Our last video dealt with the manufacturing of heat pipes. If you missed that, you can click on the link in the description below. And after the heat pipes have been curved, this video deals with milling, punching and pressing. The finished heat pipes are first placed in a jig and screwed down. The shape of the jig varies according to the design of the air cooler and this is then attached to the press. This gigantic punching machine presses out the fins at precisely equal distances apart onto the heat pipes. In the case of Dark Rock 3, with 6 heat pipes to punch out the 12 fin holes requires a force of 110 metric tons. But first, the punching machine must be supplied with aluminum tape. For the production of Pure Rock, it is possible to make 500 coolers from a roll of aluminum tape. The tape undergoes various pressing processes that eventually produce the finished fin design. Each stage of the pressing process adds a further component to the shapes of the fins until they are finally pressed onto the heat pipes. Individually fabricated stencils are produced for the pressing process that require replacement for each cooler production run. And the cost of producing these stencils run into five figures. The correct positioning of the first fin is vital because it determines the orientation of all the other fins which are punched out for the manufacture of Pure Rock in seven simultaneous steps. Direct contact of the fins with the heat pipes is the decisive factor here. This interface is where the heat is being transported to the aluminium plates which dispense it into the air, that ultimately gets blown out by the fans. A high number of fins equals a large surface which guarantees an optimal heat flow. After about 30 seconds the fins are affixed to the heat pipes and the cooler can be removed from the jig. The product is thereafter closely checked once more. Only a perfectly pressed cooler body is placed onto a pallet for further assembly. From a daily production of about 900 units per machine, only a handful are actually rejected. The base plate is milled extremely fast from a block of copper using a CNC machine. To allow us to film the process, it is running much slower. During the milling process with 5000 RPM, the plate undergoes progressive machining operations. At first coarse, then smoother, followed by a final polish. This calls for frequent changes of the milling tool. The entire milling process is carried out several times to obtain micrometer precision. Even the tiniest discrepancy would cause a significant reduction in cooling efficiency and this also helps explain why the milling machine is only able to produce 25 base plates per hour. The upper parts of the base plate is made using the same method. And if you are curious about the milky fluid you can see, this serves as a lubricant and keeps the cutting tool cool. And in the next video we will shortly show you how the other parts of the finished cooler are assembled.